Welcome back. Now, I want to talk to you about this, Apple's new iPod Touch. Just like the old one, it's basically an iPhone without the phone bit. But that still makes it one of the slickest multimedia players around, with its Wi-Fi connectivity and gorgeous touchscreen interface. But as always with iPods, the question is, is it the multimedia player I should actually buy, or are we all being just too distracted by the shiny shiny? Well, to find out, I recruited the help of Radio 1 DJ Scott Mills and set out to compare the new touch against two of its most promising competitors. Being a top DJ and a burgeoning TV star, Scott needs to take all his media content with him when he goes on tour. So what's he looking for in a multimedia player? I just need something quite simple to use and also um, something that I wouldn't lose. Scott and I would be testing our media players for sound and video quality and checking their ease of use along the way. Well, we've got three here, all of which have sort of touch screens, so they should be very intuitive and easy to use. Starting this one, it's new, it's called the Spin. The iRiver Spin is the smallest of our players with a 3.3 inch screen. It comes in 4, 8 or 16 gigabyte versions, all with an unusual combination of touch screen and toggle wheel. To load music and video onto the Spin, you simply plug it into your computer via USB, then drag and drop any files you want from one to the other. But what was the sound quality like? This was the actual sound we recorded from the spin, and it wasn't too shabby. Actually quite good. Mmm. A little bit kind of thin. Mm. It's not that easy to use, this thing, is it? It just, it, do, it does flip around a bit, mm. yeah. Good. I, I think I agree with you. I've heard better and I've heard worse. <laughs> what? <laughs> Next, we tested how good the spin was for watching video. For me, it's... It's too small. You can't really see it that well when you're outside. There's so many reflections, aren't there? Yeah. You need a sort of black cloth. Or your jumper, in fact. I'll put it on. Shall I do that? Do. Okay. Can you do, do, do that? Yeah. It's quite good. Mm. Quite good colours. Mm. Obviously, this would be a slightly weird look when you're out in public. Yes. Can I come out now? So, the music was acceptable, but the video was unwatchable outdoors, and I don't think Scott was very impressed with the feel of the spin. It just feels a little bit kind of... Hmm. Can I say cheap? I just feel like it's all going to kind of come apart in my hands Ooh, that bad. any second, mm. which it will, because I'm that clumsy. <laughs> so, would he be more taken with the iPod Touch? The Touch has a 3.5-inch screen, up to 32 gigabytes of storage, and though it has no radio, it packs plenty of extra features like maps and email. You can download music directly from iTunes via a Wi-Fi connection. So we came indoors to a Wi-Fi zone. OK, so... And bye now. Bye now. Mm. There it is. So, how did the music sound? Mm-hmm. OK. Uh-huh. All right. Right. Mm. Mm. What do you think of that, then? It's not bad. I mean, yeah. it's similar to the, the spin, I think, in sound. Um, just because it looks so lovely and it's... it's Apple, you'd think it'd be a bit better, maybe, but it's yeah. not embarrassingly awful. I just wanted to have a bit more detail, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think there's a bit, bit crisper at the top yeah. end. Annoyingly, you can't download video via Wi-Fi. You've got to plug in and access iTunes the old-fashioned way. Not bad at all, is it? That's pretty good, really. I mean, it's good colours. Quite a good detail. For something quite small, yeah. you could watch that on a plane or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. And would the video look good in daylight? Yeah, it's better, loads better. So, overall, despite the touch's slightly mushy sound, Scott was quite taken with it. I really like it. I think it's lovely. It's very easy to use. And finally, we tried the Kawan Q5, an 80 gigabyte monster with a huge range of features, including a web browser and Microsoft Word. But Scott wasn't impressed by its massive functionality. I would never use any of this. For example, if I yeah. go into music, OK, the screen is just like, there's eight million different things going on. Like, it tells me that I've got a Jet Effect EQ on it. I don't care. Uh, I don't even know what a DPL list is. It's just really confusing. You might as well have a laptop. On to the music test. In theory, you can download music and video straight from the net, but in practice we found this very unreliable and resorted to the good old USB cable and drag-and-drop technology. But was the music quality any better? 
I think it's the best of the three. I think it's the best sound of the three. Yeah. And what about the video? Oh, that's quite nice. Cheers. It's a very nice picture. Certainly by far the best picture of the three, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's got deeper contrast. Yeah. Much better. But outside, the Cowan was still a little too shiny. Mm. So which one do you prefer overall? I'm going to say uh, iPod Touch. I just like the way it feels. Aesthetically, it's really nice. It's very easy to, to use. Even though the sound quality isn't brilliant, I, I'll sacrifice it for that. And even though it doesn't actually have a radio. Well, the thing is, I'm, I'm obviously the best thing on anyway, and I can't listen to myself, so that doesn't really bother me, John. I get the feeling you don't quite mean that. Nah. <laughs>